Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Um, as promised, we are going to do fun facts today. Yep, uh, this is going to be one giant fun fact video. I'm only going to make it about 15 minutes long. Um, if I don't cover everything, I'm going to make a part two video covering the rest of it. So we're going to start with uh, Mickey Mouse and Ye Olden Days. And then we're going to end on Silly Symphonies, The Golden Touch. I hope you guys are ready. All right, so Mickey Mouse, fun facts, Mickey Mouse in ye olden days. There's only one, so just enjoy it. Goofy's original name was Dippy Dog. As the bogus credits in the title sequence confirm, he is still going by that name in this film. Next one is going to be Fun Facts, Silly Symphonies, Three Little Pigs. The original version featured the wolf dressed as a Jewish peddler to gain entry to the pig's house. A second theatrical release not long afterward used new animation and dialogue in the scene. The second theatrical verse, version is the one that is used in the DVD release. The song Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf became an anthem of optimism in the wake of the Depression. This was the first Disney cartoon to be fully conceived on storyboards. Previously, simple sketches were drawn on a page giving a broad overview of each scene, with descriptions of the individual actions and gags typed on a separate page. Storyboards in the modern sense uh, were invented at the Disney Studios in the early 1930s. Though cartoon shorts usually lasted very brief periods of time, this one played in many theaters long, longer than most feature films. The cartoon was test screened for an audience of Disney employees to get their reactions. One employee thought the word lousy was unacceptable and the line was out. According to the June 5, 1933 issue of Time magazine, the Disney short opened with the W.C. Fields Film International House, 1933. Contrary to popular belief, the wolf doesn't say, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the house down. What he actually says is, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the house in. This rhymes with the word chin in the previous line. The confusion probably arose because the word down was actually spoken by the wolf in a spoof of this cartoon featuring Bugs Bunny. This film was selected to the National Film Registry Library of Congress in 2007. So next is Fun Fact Silly Symphony, The Big Bad Wolf. It's the first time you get to see Little, Re Little Red Riding Hood. This is the only short form of the Three Little Pigs collection where the wolf doesn't do his famous powerful blow. See, just two simple little fun facts. Uh, next is going to be the grasshopper and the ants. This one also only has one fun fact. The grasshopper is voiced by Pinto Kolvig, better known as the voice of Goofy. The song The World Owes Me a Living was later used as a theme song of sorts for Goofy. Next is fun facts for Goddess of Spring. This one actually has a, a little bit more. The film conflates Hades slash Pluto, the Greek god of the underworld, with Satan. The underworld is conflated with hell. The film is based on the Greek legend of the abduction of Persephone. It was a major episode of Greek mythology and religion. The film does not mention that Persephone and Hades were blood relatives. In Greek mythology, Persephone was the daughter of Zeus and Demeter. I hope I'm saying that right. Zeus and Demeter were both siblings of Hades, which means that Hades was Persephone's uncle. Walt Disney and his animators used this short as a test to see if they could create realistic animation and a style they would later perfect in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Next is going to be fun facts for Silly Symphonies, The Wise Little Hen. It was Clarence Mash's first film debut. Donald Duck makes his debut as a supporting character in this cartoon. The original premiere date, June 9th, 1934, has been declared Donald Duck's birthday. The title slash plot is based on the Russian folktale of the Little Red Hen. The best known version in the United States is that, pop is that popularized by the Little Golden Books, a series of children's books published for the mass market since the 1940s. Next is going to be the tortoise and the hare. Uh, it's another silly symphony. Many Warner Brothers animators have admitted that Max Hare is the inspiration for Bugs Bunny. Max Hare's name and cocky personality are based on boxer Max Bear. 
And then finally, we have a uh, fun fact, Silly Symphony, The Golden Touch. The film is based on the legend of Medus, king of... The okay, I'm going to start butchering this country's names or city or whatever it is. So just bear with me. Phrygia. That's what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to pronounce it. Phrygia. Phrygia. Well, we'll make it fancy. Phrygia. <laughs> In the Greco-Roman legend, Midas performed a favor for the god Dionysus. Dionysus. Dionysus offered the grant offered to grant Midas whatever reward the mortal king had in mind. Midas asked for the magical ability to change whatever he touched into gold. The blessing of the god turned into a curse as any food or drink that Midas touched also turned to gold. Facing starvation and death, Midas had to convince Dionysus to take away his magic touch. Walt Disney hated this short and refused to talk about it with his workers. It was Walt Disney's last film as director. The legend of Midas depicted on this film may have been based on a historical king. Greek sources speak of a king Midas ruling Phrygia, Phrygia in the late 8th century BC and early 7th century BC. The Assyrian sources call this king Mita and seems to confirm his existence. The historical Midas reportedly committed suicide when his capital, Gordium, was destroyed by the invading Sumerians. In 1957, archaeologists discovered a royal tomb in the ruins of Gordium. It contained the skeleton of a man who was about 60 years old at the time of his death. The skeleton has been tentatively identified with Midas. The elf Goldie in the film plays the role of god Dionysus had in the original legend. And that is it for the fun facts. Oh, didn't take as long as I thought I would. Actually, I actually hope I got everything. I felt like, all right, so I did read everything. All right. Perfect, perfect. So that is it for um, the fun facts for today. So tomorrow you're going to be getting a fun fact video for Mickey Mouse and the band concert. Um, and hopefully starting tomorrow, I'll actually be back on schedule for everything. Um, and, you know, I'll, I mean, I'll, I mean, I'm going to do my best now that I am going to a real job that's going to give me steady hours. So as that starts to put into effect, um, I'll do whatever I can to get videos out to you guys every day. But for now, I hope you enjoyed. I think this is like the first like collection that I've done in a big group that's like all Silly Symphony. So consider this the Silly Symphony's fun facts. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. I love you, my little skeletons, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.